first of all we create a text file containing this information the username device id and device credential we close this text file and we open the uh, firefox or any web browser on the address bar we typed thinger.io and we go to the thinger.io page uh, from there we uh, create an account if we don't have uh, getting an account takes only one to two minutes since I have an account so I just click the login button put my username and the password after uh, play tapping my password click on the login button don't save this is the console dashboard of thinger.io from there you can see that the statistics about my account this is the username of my account this is important because we need this information so we just uh, write down the username remember that this information is case sensitive so be careful about that we save this text file this is the username that we we have already written on the text file from the device here there is a add device button i have already a device which is disconnected i have add another device click on that device button device type is thinger.io device and device id is important i need to write a id for the device device description is also needed so just uh, write a description about this device and the device credential that is also important we need to generate the device credential by clicking the generate random credential we need to copy the device credential and uh, place it on the text file so this information is needed when we connect uh, any device with uh, thinger.io cloud we also need to copy the device id and we click the add device button and here we see the device is already created so and we go click in the device tab again and we see the device name is just on description is nano guard device last connection information and the state of the device is disconnected so we just paste the device id and save this text file this information is needed when we connect any device with this cloud here if we click the device what we have we have the some information that the device is still is offline the transmitted data received data and the uh, time connected time device token we need it later and the JSTOR API Explorer this is needed we will export it once our device is connected with the cloud a device by using device token we can easily access the JSTOR API from anywhere using internet so this is our device which is disconnected that's all about the device connection thanks for watching